Hey guys, Bo HD here from Out2 and more, and today I want to bring up the topic of front-facing speakers on phones and tablets as opposed to the more traditional rear-facing speakers. So let's first talk about rear-facing speakers because chances are if you have a phone or a tablet, you're going to have these rear-facing speakers on the back of your device. The real question we as consumers should be asking ourselves is why? Why do we have speakers that face away from us when watching content? Does it make sense? And what are the pros and cons? Well, starting with rear-facing speakers, it really doesn't make sense to have the sound faced away from you when watching or consuming media. Since most people have these rear-facing speakers, people have come up with some clever ways to get some higher quality audio. For example, you can cup your hand around the back of the device to funnel the sound directly towards you, or you can use something like a bowl to redirect the sound towards you. But if you have to do this to get better sound quality, shouldn't it be obvious to phone manufacturers that this isn't the right way to go and that we should have front-facing speakers? I think what it really comes down to is what are we willing to sacrifice for high quality front facing speakers? Now there's essentially three major reasons why phones don't have these front facing speakers. One of the main reasons is that you can have a larger screen with a smaller bezel around the sides. Large displays are huge right now so it kind of is a deterrent for phone manufacturers and consumers to invest or buy front facing speakers on phones. Another main reason is that the headset speaker that's traditionally on the front of a phone or a tablet is made of a different technology than a loudspeaker on the back of a device. While I think this has been true, I think we're at the point of technology where we can combine the headset speaker with the rear-facing speaker or loudspeaker uh, to create an all-in-one high-quality sound that's used for media consumption and also making calls. The last main defense or reason why phones don't have front-facing speakers is because some people believe that rear-facing speakers create a sound that resonates better when it's laid against a flat surface. While this is a weak reason and a personal preference, in my mind it doesn't make sense for the sound quality to improve uh, being redirected against a flat surface versus being directed directly towards a person. While I think the major reason it gets a front-facing speaker is due to the screen bezel loss and smaller screen, phone manufacturers like Samsung and HTC are proving you don't really need to sacrifice these things to include front-facing speakers on devices. Just take a look at the Note 10.1 by Samsung. It was the first tablet to introduce the front-facing speakers and it really doesn't sacrifice any screen real estate. Samsung has also carried the front-facing speaker trend in the Nexus 10, which has thin, high-quality speakers on the sides that are almost unnoticeable. So those are both tablets, but what about phones? Sure, phones are smaller, so the technology has to be shrunk down, but HTC is starting to prove that high-quality front-facing speakers can become a reality in smartphones. For example, the recently announced HTC One is a premium Android phone that has two front-facing speakers that deliver amazing sound quality without sacrificing the screen size. So HTC proved it can be done, and while this phone isn't officially released yet, I'll be looking to hear from the feedback to see if people like this design or not. Technology has advanced to the point where we can have high-quality front-facing speakers in phones and tablets, which leads me to the question for you guys. What do you think of front-facing speakers versus rear-facing speakers? Is a high-quality front-facing speaker a serious spec that will convince you to buy a smartphone? And if so, would you be willing to sacrifice something like a screen size for these front-facing speakers? Let me know what you guys think down below in a comment, and you could be featured in my next video. So that about do it for this video. In my last video, I talked about the Sigma 10-20mm f3.5 lens for Canon, and asked you guys what you thought your favorite lens is and why. Definitely make sure to check out that video if you haven't already, and see what other people have to say in the comments section down below. Before I go, I want to quickly recommend the Canon 550D T2i DSLR camera to Pierre, who was looking for a high-quality DSLR camera that is in the entry-level to mid-range section. I use a T2i for all my videos and I really can't recommend it enough. I mean, you can get a newer model of like a T4i for a little bit more money, um, but the T2i is great for cinematography or photography, so I just highly recommend it. So that's all I have to say. I'm BoHD from Out2 and More. Thanks for watching.